Welcome folks, it is late February 2023, I am on my way into Spring Branch and there is ice on the trees. Today is going to be a little bit of trout fishing. Uh, you may have noticed that I recently changed the name of the channel to Professor Outdoors from Trout Fishing in Iowa and, and that's because I'm doing so many other kinds of videos other than just trout fishing in Iowa. We've got a lot of camping and cooking and outdoor stuff coming your way. So, welcome to the same channel, different name. Uh, today I'm going to be meeting Pete and Chuck and whoever else comes up here to the branch. Going to try to throw some pink squirrels. I've been hard at work on the tying bench making pink squirrels and we will see uh, how the fishing and the camaraderie is today. I can see the stream. And it looks beautiful. It's going to be warm today. Almost 50 degrees. You can't beat that for February. Thanks for tuning in, guys. The conditions are low and clear today. Plenty of fish by the wall here at the hatchery. But, tried the pink squirrel a little bit. Gotta try it out first. Nothing doing so far. Uh, but we got... Pete and Chuck here, and uh, we're going to try fishing the pasture maybe a little bit today and see how it goes. Uh, it is a lovely day at Spring Branch. Can't beat it. Up here in the pasture, got some cows. We're up by the spring. Going to see if there are any fish around. deep hole up here in the pasture. Missed a couple strikes. Let's see if I can convert. There he is! Hey! Look at this! Woohoo! He's a jumper! Oh! That counts. Yeah, that counted. <laughs> little long distance release. There he goes. Chuck was on right up here. Long distance release. That counts. I mean... <laughs> Alright, we're starting to get some action. Up here in the pasture, the cows are around and about. The water's a little muddy, which is working to our advantage. They are biting on the pink squirrel. Let's see what we can find. Hey, hey, Chuck is on again up here in the pasture. He's got a nice one. Way to go, Chuck. All right, brown trout. All right, beautiful. The fish are thick in this uh, bank hide area back here. Lots and lots of little browns. Uh, I just stuck and fought for a while. A decent sized rainbow as well. He got off the hook, but I'm going to count it. Um, the fish are really, really active up here in the pasture. The, the cows, which are over here, have been in and out of the water, muddying it up a little bit, but that's actually helping us quite a bit. Chuck is behind me. He's catching fish as well. Pete has gone far upstream. I cannot even see him. He is not a fan of the cows. But I think the cows are helping us out right now. So we're going to continue to fish up here a little bit. It is a lovely day. The sun is out. Jacket is off. Oh man, what a great day to be on Spring Branch. Where all your troubles are far away. As Chuck said, how can, how can you feel depressed when you're here? This is God's creation, and it is lovely. So, hope you're having a good day, too. Okay, got a nice brown here on the pink squirrel. Gonna get him back in the water. That was very exciting. He's got this nice brown over here in this deep pool. He really, really fought. Good looking wild brown. It's a good day. So, tricky cast, what I tried to do was get up in that tongue of water splits around that rock and then there's a bank hide there which means deep water but then you have to pull it up or back before it gets to this kind of overhanging thistle thing. Uh, he was right in that tongue of 
fast water where it hits the slow water. That little bubble line right by that bank hide. Very, very nice fish. All right, well, struck a whole bunch more fish here. Didn't bring any to hand, but that's fine. Um, it's getting to be lunchtime, and I've got some tasty Sichuan hot pot that I'm going to make streamside today. Pete and Chuck headed back there. Um, Chuck is headed out for the day. I'm going to have some lunch with Pete and uh, maybe some drinks, and if we feel like it, we'll fish some more. It's been a very successful day already on Spring Branch. The sun is out. It's got to be like 50 degrees. <sighs> Lovely day. All right, thanks for coming along. All right, we got something exciting here to eat by the stream. We have hot pot. We're gonna make a Sichuan hot pot today. So I've got my burner set up here. It's going in the wind. We're gonna get that, get that water boiling and we're gonna have some little sheep hot pot right by the stream. I bet nobody is having this right now next to a trout stream in Iowa except us. So two men, hot pot. It's gonna be good. So here's what you get with your little sheep hot pot. You get some very hot looking oil, some Szechuan peppercorns, and two mystery bags. It says it's a delectable fusion of different species. A couple different species of cheese here. Looks tasty. Got Dan from the hatchery over here doing some maple sugar in. It's a wonderful day. Look at this. This is just a big thing of hot oil. This is gonna be delicious. One of those bags is just full of chili peppers. Got, got it steaming here. Soon it's gonna be boiling. We're gonna be dipping our meat in there. Just two guys dipping their meat in the hot pot. There are a lot of people around to watch. Good stuff. All right, today's drink. A little bit of barefoot bubbly Moscato Spumante. My New Year's resolution is to drink more champagne. So, as I told Pete, I'm not where I want to be yet for the year. So it's time to, time to open one up. It's, it's important to uh, enjoy yourself responsibly. Sometimes you got to treat yourself to a little streamside champagne. Enjoy responsibly. And now we show the beef. This is the beef we will put in the hot broth. Mmm. Man, the hot pot is going strong. We're, we're eating a lot of tasty meat. Pete, have I turned you on to hot pot? Hot pot is good. Hot pot is life, folks. And you gotta have it stream side. You know, you can be right next to a guy fishing, eating your hot pot, drinking your champagne. It's wonderful. Pete found this five-hour energy drink on the ground and asked if I wanted it, and I said no. He said, well, if you know anybody who uses them and would drink one that I found on the ground, and I said, uh, I think that is 100% overlap. Those <laughs> people who would drink that would drink one off the ground. We're going to go try and catch that giant trout that I saw a few weeks ago. We'll see how it goes. Well, folks, I end this episode of Professor Outdoors in much the same place as I ended the last one, this giant pool here with a giant rainbow trout in it. I haven't seen him today. I sure did try to catch him. To no luck, but we had a, a terrific day. Chuck, Pete, and I all caught some very nice trout. We had the uh, streamside hot pot. We had champagne. We had cheese from Wisconsin. It's hard to imagine a better day. It's 50 degrees in February in Iowa. How does it, how can you even top that? It's a sunny, still, uh, gorgeous day on the stream. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed this trip. Uh, if you want to try Hot Pot, uh, you can get that at your local uh, Asian foods market. You can also order that online from Amazon. Little Sheep brand is good. Heidi Lau is also good. I'll warn you that one is super spicy. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, very tasty, very fun. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you uh, have a wonderful spring. Look forward to a lot more adventures. Professor Outdoors.